so guys uh, welcome to leaves and lungs so today i will teach you something about on uh, self incompatibility so this self incompatibility is a critical topic many people fail to understand the topic and the logic behind this so uh, we have already did a video on this previously but uh, i thought maybe like i could do better justice this time in uh, clearing the concept much more in, in a different way okay so guys let's get started with this Uh, so guys uh, before going into the topic proper uh, let me explain you some uh, basic important uh, parts of a flower so uh, if you have like already dissected a flower then you could have known this is the uh, male and the female part of a flower okay so imagine this is how a flower looks like okay just imagine okay i will tell you the parts of the flowers first of all so this is called as style okay and this portion is called as stigma okay stigma is nothing but it is the place where the pollen grains get stuck okay so stigma just try to remember like this stick okay it is where the pollen grains stick so hence it's called stigma okay okay so this is one thing uh, this is called as style okay and uh, like this portion this this four antenna like projections are called as stamen okay and this is called as anthers okay so from this is where the pollen grains are produced this pollen grains just go and drop at this uh, top surface of the stigma and this facilitates the fertilization process okay so here you have two flowers okay two flowers of the same species with different uh, in the length of the stamen okay can you compare here the stamen is much shorter here and the stamen is much uh, longer here and slender and filamentous here the style is short here the style is very long okay so there are like typically two different flowers of the same species but with two different varieties and and uh, differentiation okay so can you understand so if there is a difference in style okay so can you see this plant has a long style this one has a short style so the difference of the style length in the two different uh, flowers of the same species is called as tristyly okay when you take to tristyly like uh, this is almost similar to that here you have three flowers okay so here is a flower one flower two and flower three with three different lengths okay and also there is three varying lengths of stamen and stigma okay stam sorry stamen and anthers okay so each uh, like each length of this uh, part is codified by a separate gene okay so for example when you take this okay that is a long styled uh, uh, flower it is coded by the recessive ss whereas when you like take this short styled uh, it is coded by genotypes ss okay so just try to remember this okay so it could be whatever but right now uh, the short styled uh, is uh, stacked as ss and the long shell is stocked as recessive ss so okay so this is the basic differentiation between a dystyly and tristyly i will let you know what is the significance of knowing these two things okay first of all uh, like uh, like uh, like what is the significance of these two uh, different types of length for example if you take if there is a cross between these two flowers okay just try to remember we will draw another one with a similar thing okay so this is how the flower is actually okay so here here you have okay the long styled uh, yeah, stigma is there whereas your uh, stamen is here okay so there is no way the pollen is going to deposit here and it's going to get fertilized can you like can you able to like uh, identify it here you cannot have a fertilization happening it so basic incompatible reaction starts from here okay due to their physical difference can you see even if they are capable of reproducing because of their difference in their morphology because of the difference in the height of the stamen and style they could not get they could not get fertilized okay so this is one reason okay so this is what is the reason is all about but when you put an another flower for example okay uh, see uh, you have a um, okay uh take this take this flower as an example okay so when you put another flower okay with long stamen okay long stamen and short style the anthers can produce pollen grains which can directly come and sit over the lengthy uh, style okay so in this way the uh, fertilization can be very effective okay because of their mismatch in the height it could be like effective can you get it 
uh, like before going into the topic proper let you let me like tell you an example okay so just imagine there is two cities okay okay two cities a and b imagine the average height of the people in uh, city a is five feet okay and the average here is six feet okay you are one of the uh, groups in the family in the families of uh, city a and you want your children to be like uh, don't want to suffer the same thing that is happening over and over for generations and generations so you are taking a drastic approach that you want to get somewhere around 5.5 or to 5.8 okay so what will happen like what is the solution so you have to give your like you have to like uh, go and get married to someone who is six feet okay so when you like get married to six feet there is a chances and the possibility that your offsprings or children could reach this height okay so this is the basic concept so similarly this is the same concept that we follow in the self incompatibility also so here you have okay in in plant a you have small flowers okay here you have large flowers okay the result is that you you need to have some intermediate flowers in size so that it could boost your economy and all those stuff okay so what what is the natural solution you just made these two okay so you will get some resultant uh, a big flowers okay so this is the actual significance of the self incompatibility okay so in put in terms of uh, the definition the self incompatibility is nothing but uh, it is where the flowers will produce uh, functional a uh, viable pollen grains but uh, fail to fertilize the same flower or any other flowers of the same plant can you can you able to grasp the concept even though the even though they can produce children but they are not willing to uh, like marry the children to the same group because of their possible defects okay so uh, the same thing happens here like uh, nature by through its uh, various other ways have inhibited or stopped the uh, fertilization to happen in the same flower okay so the reason was uh, like mainly due to the biochemical reaction but researchers are going on to find out the actual reason why the plant is not getting fused or not getting fertilized okay so this is the basic concept of self incompatibility so the classification there is various classification so self incompatibility is classified into two system one is heteromorphic system and homomorphic system so as you to as you see that heteromorphic that is change in their morphology of their plants and flowers okay that is here self incompatibility is mainly due to the differences in their morphology that is in their appearances or in their phenotypes here you have same kind of morphology but there is some other systems that uh, that that prohibits the uh, compatibility between the two okay so heteromorphic is again classified into distyly and tristyly as i told in the first and second slides Distally is nothing because of the difference between the two flowers that we have like already discussed. Tristally, like uh, as I've said, uh, like short, medium, and lengthy styles. Okay, so this is the classification of heteromorphic system. So heteromorphic system is easy to understand, but whereas uh, gametophytic is a little bit tricky. Okay, guys, so keep your mind focused so that you can able to get or grasp the idea behind this two systems. okay like let me try to explain with uh, an example okay so uh, there is pin flower and there is thrum flower okay so these are both same species flowers of primum species okay so the primum species produces these two flowers but with significant difference in their uh, phenotypes as well as in genotypes okay so like here you see this phenotype is coded by the gene as recessive s and s okay so when these two flowers that is s and s tries to fertilize with the same kinds of flower there is total incompatible mating that is they can never produce any offspring even if they get fused the, the fertilization will never be effective and the progeny will never grow to its full potential so similarly here you have thrum flowers okay so thrum flowers is coded by an, an, an heterozygous an heterozygous allele allele is actually a pair of two characters that has been coded together okay can you see uh, like as i said ss codes for thrum flowers and uh, ss small ss codes for pin flowers so uh, pin flowers can never pair with pin flowers can you see similarly thrum flowers can never pair with thrum flowers okay so hence incompatible reaction is possible 
okay between these two things so how will you get these two fertilized so first either you have to cross like one pin with another drum okay so can you see here so when you like cross these two uh, you will get uh, both in equal proportion that is you will get one drum and one pin one drum and one pin okay so this is uh, what actually is all about so two different flowers with two different uh, uh, like difference in their uh, genotypes and the phenotypes cross to each other ultimately pr producing uh, uh, two uh, two varieties of uh, each one okay the ratios are proportional so i'll let you tell uh, how this is how this uh, ratio is obtained can you see so this codes for uh, thrum flowers okay and this codes for pin flowers okay so each plant produces gamut of capital s small s and small s and uh, small s so when you try to cross each other okay so capital s small s you have one thing uh, capital s and the small s you have another thing so and another thing is uh, small s with the small s so can you see it produces two heterozygotes and two homozygotes okay so uh, two is to two when you cancel each other the ratio is one is to one so this is how the uh, ratio is actually obtained okay if you are able to not, not understand please do comment in the comment section box i'll try to put the separately about this punnett square box again and again okay okay so the incompatibility reaction of the pollen is determined by the genotype of the plant producing them can you understand it okay so this system is also known as heteromorphic sporophytic system so as i told you in the previous slide there are like two uh, systems one is sporophytic systems and another is gametophytic systems in sporophytic system the incompatibility reaction is determined by the genotype of the plant okay can you understand it determines what the genotype of the plant is about okay whereas in gametotype in gametophytic type this incompatibility reaction is determined by the pollen itself not by the genotype of the plant okay so this is the basic difference i'll tell you each and everything in detail right now so here uh, the pollen grains produced by the pin flowers will all be s in genotype as we seen in the previous slide and they are like totally incompatible okay when you when they are like fused with the same kinds of flowers whereas thrum flowers will produce two types of gametes okay as we said uh, capital S and a small s, but all of them would be S phenotypically. Okay, so this dominance over the recessive gene will ultimately produce all of them to be capital S phenotypically. So the mating between the pin and the thrum would actually produces these two progeny, as you've seen in the previous slides, in equal frequencies. So this system is actually very little importance in crop plant because, uh, like, uh, only few species exhibit this kinds of incompatibility, and this is. Uh, uh, the compatibility is like uh, it's not a kind of a big deal in plant breeding system so it has also occurs in other plants such as a sweet potato and bulk wheat okay try to remember these points more of this is it's a clar it's a conceptual clarification video like if you want like to want the notes completely then i can provide you the pdf also so in the homomorphic system so like we are dealing actually the homomorphic system so uh, like as i said in the previous slide it is not associated with the morphological difference it is because of the pollen okay the incompatibility reaction of the pollen may be controlled by either the genotype of the plant this is called sporophytic or it's by its own genotype okay so this is for your theory purpose as i already told that uh, it is not due to the difference in their morphology that is heteromorphic system but in homomorphic system it is due to the uh, genotype of the plant okay genotype of the plant or due to the gametophytic control or the genotype of their pollen itself okay so this is what uh, the homomorphic system is all about so uh, like uh, there are some uh, few examples here that is trifolium nicotinea lycopersicum solanum petunia so these are like uh, examples of uh, gametophytic system so as is told in the gametophytic system the pollen grain is determined by its own genotype it does not dependent on their genotype of the plant this is very crucial statement okay so all the thing all the incompatibility reactions are because of their pollen grain not because of the plant at all so you have to remember this very uh, important point and genetically the incompatibility reaction is determined by a single gene having multiple allele okay the incompatibility reaction is determined by a single gene okay having multiple allele 
okay only the okay only the compatibility reaction for example just try to remember a b c d okay you have like two different plants okay so this a b cannot fuse with a b okay only if it has a different allele okay for example take here at least uh, like um, when it fuses with c d it is totally compatible but with the same same allele allele is actually a pair okay for example one two is a allele okay three four is a allele okay only when these two are different they can actually like compatible okay but when they are like similar or almost similar you will get some totally incompatible or partial incompatible okay i'll tell you with this uh, the next slide so like i've told you okay in the sporophyte the genotype is determined by the plant okay whereas uh, in the gametophytes okay each okay each pollen is uh, uh, like each pollen has a is graded with a separate uh, number that is s1 s2 s3 s4 so when you cross these two things as i said okay try, try to like remember like this a b a b it is totally incompatible okay at least you have to have a different allele when you have the same allele then you cannot like uh, make it happen okay so here like try to have this example so here you have a different allele s1 s2 is one and s1 s3 is uh, another one but still uh, you have the same gene here that is s1 and s1 so you have only difference in s2 and s3 so it is partially compatible okay so here you have totally two different alleles okay and hence it is fully compatible can you get it okay so this is the basic concept of uh, the gametophytic uh, crossing so uh, try to like go through the video again and uh, read the statements properly because when you're going for any exam the statement alone can get, uh, fetch you good marks and uh, try to like note down those points alone that's why that's why i've given you the statements also so uh, like there is a separate concept okay so co-dominance is nothing but it is a form of inheritance where the alleles of a gene pair in a heterozygotes are fully expressed okay for example uh, like um, so you just try to remember this so it is one allele and it is one allele okay so here when when this like gets inherited all the two types of uh, like uh, characters are expressed here okay so this is called as co-dominance here the trait is neither dominant nor recessive okay the same co-dominance can also happen in gametophytic system or can also happen in a sporophytic system also that is you can get uh, like both the kinds of uh, recessive as well as uh, the dominant uh, characters being expressed there so uh, the only the alleles only if you have different alleles you can even like establish the compatibility between these two plants so here the incompatibility reaction is determined by the genotype of the plant as i told you if the plant is s1 and s2 okay it can never like breed with the same kinds of genotype okay so it needs a different genotype okay so this is what a sporophytic system is all about so this system is more complicated and may also exhibit dominance co-dominance or competition so co-dominance as i had said when you get two different characters inherited it's called co-dominance when it's called dominance it's actually one character okay for example blue cross yellow if you get only blue then it's like complete dominance for competition is uh, like you can never predict which one is coming up you can either get uh, blue partially and you either get uh, yellow also okay so guys this is the basic concept about the self incompatibility uh, like just try to remember these things this will help for definitely in your exams and also for conceptual understanding also okay so only one thing is the last takeaway point is in sporophytic system the incompatibility reaction is determined by the genotype of the plant whereas in gametophytic system it depends upon their pollen grain itself okay so this is very takeaway point i'm trying to like stress you at last so like if you don't understand the video still you can like ask your queries in the following section so i'll try to explain it in another video also if you want it okay